and now from 2015. The abuse that the far left heap on conservatives is discourteous and often illegal. ABC broadcasts contrary to its charter. Unprofessional journalists at The Guardian, Age and Sydney Morning Herald will cut their own throats for readership before reporting accurately. The cost is ultimately to political discourse being lowered in a way undesirable for a liberal democracy. But Australia and others survive this because although crippling democracy has checks and balances which prevent outright tyranny. The abysmal Australian Labour Party administrations in Victoria and Queensland have been re-gifted office after one term. Neither administration has reformed. Analysis in Queensland seems to suggest the previous leader, Campbell Newman, was at fault. However, to be fair, the corrupt machinations of Clive Palmer ended a good government and got the Australian Labour Party elected after one term without the Australian Labour Party reforming. It will always be possible to find fault with Conservatives, but merely re-electing Australian Labour Party as a default corrodes democracy and allows the Australian Labour Party to weaken the independence of the public service and judiciary. Political discourse is low when a Conservative can question deleterious link between Australian Labour Party and Labour Unions and get the response, fuck Tony Abbott. That's it for today. If you come across this video at a later date and you like it, like it. Also, feel free to comment and share. Spread the love.